There's great enjoyment watching a cow calve down and just watching how she produces, then how she goes on their lactation, how she produces, you know, a good, a good uh, volume of milk. And, you know, there's a certain enjoyment in that as well and watching cows and cows, young stock growing into cows and calving them down and, you know, there is an enjoyment in it. My name's Conal O'Leary and I'm from Guttahark in northwest Donegal. And I'm farming here in partnership with my father. Uh, we're milking around 62 uh, pedigree Holstein cows. Farming roughly around 50 acres. It's a fragmented farm. We're in an indoor robotic system. Cows are in housed all year round and they're fed on zero graze grass during the grazing season and on a TMR silage straw and a blend on the winter period. It's a mixed lactation herd, so we calve cows every month. We don't have a specific time of year to calve, we calve cows every month. And that allows us to milk 50 cows every day of the year and to have 10 or 12 cows out dry at all times. The reason for that is we want a steady flow of milk for every month, to have no peak as such. So they're a pedigree registered Holstein Frisian herd. Good strong animal, good legs and feet, you know, what the characteristics that you want for longevity so that they'll remain in your herd for a long time. The farm was originally, goes back five generations. My great great grandmother milked here. She you had a lot of cows here in her time, milked by hand, using the milk to uh, rear calves at that time and maybe sell some milk to lo local people. Moved on and my father took it on. And after that, after I came back from agricultural college, I took it on. And I took on the herd and built up the herd a bit and started bottling milk, bottling raw milk, selling it locally. So we started buying young stock in the latter end of 2017, young heifers and we did the building work in 2000, most of the building work in 2018 and we commenced sending away milk in, at, in March 2019. I think it's the most sustainable farming enterprise in this area at the minute. We're in the northwest of Donegal, we're a fragmented farm, we have bits and pieces of land all over the place. But, uh, you know, we're looking out at Torrey Island and down under Errigal. But here we are, that's the way it is. I always had a keen interest in it, but I think uh, the dairy sector is where you can make a, make a living from it, essentially, on a small scale. I always knew that the technology and the breeding that uh, went into the, the, the Holstein cow, that it, uh, there has to be a living in it for the small man. Uh, we, 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 at this stage, we're going to be uh, not more than 80 cows, but we'll still make a living at 80 cows. Yeah, the indoor system helps, and particularly with the ro robotic system helps. We get great information from the robot. We know our cows inside out. We, uh, we can see them, you know, every day being milked. It's a labour-saving tool, and it gives you a lot of uh, important information about every specific cow. So the cow approaches the robot and uh, they have a responder around their neck, so the, the cow knows then, or the robot knows then what cow is coming towards it. So you have the robot set to give, to milk a cow when she has a specific volume of milk. So if the robot deems that she does not have that volume of milk, she will just refuse her. So what happens there is she goes into the robot, the, the exit gates opens and it lets her out again. So cows generally, as they go on the lactation, they, they'll, They'll, ha they'll know themselves when they're due milked. So when they have a certain volume of milk, say nine litres, the robot will accept them and milk them. Technology is very important here because we're getting so much information off the robot and we make management decisions upon that information then. So you have your yield, you have your rumination and activity of every cow. It gives specific data for every cow you have on their other health and their, on their overall health status. There's a way floor in it as well, and it, if a cow is going back in weight, it'll flag it up. It'll flag my status probably two days before the human eye will. So you can make management decisions on the information you're given from the robot.
you, you can go back on any cow's lactation and see what she's given in the previous lactation and it'll give you the predicted 305 day milk yield for that cow according to how she's milking currently. With the pedigree animal, I suppose you know what you're getting really. There's a, there's a background of, of the breeding and you have a, a good collection of data between, between classification scores and the milk recording. So the milk recording will give you an idea of the production of that cow family going right back and the classification score will give you an indication of the functionality of that cow family going right back as well. So if you have a cow, that, uh, a cow family that's been well scored right the way through, there's a good chance that she's gonna, gonna continue breeding that type of animal that you want. Yeah, so a cow, I suppose, that has the capacity to, I suppose, to, to utilize forage and to get a, a maximum output out of her, a cow with plenty of strength going right through. Uh, because we're on an indoor system, I suppose, feet and legs is very important to have correct feet and legs. And uh, it's also quite important to have a, a good mammary system with, with good teeth placement for the robot. Sometimes that can be, that can be an issue with some robotic systems but uh, to, to really put the emphasis on that and try and breed for that as well, going right through. So on the zero grazer, we find that it, you're utilizing most of your land, you're, the, the zero grazer coming around, it cleans the field and it's growing again right away from that time. Yeah, so the field that we're cutting there earlier on, it's about two acres and uh, my father, he reclaimed it uh, maybe back in 2006 or so and we limed it and we reseeded it and it's been growing, growing good enough since, ever since. So we're maximising essentially a small farm and I feel that the, the Holstein cow is the cow to do that. She's given a high level of production, we're somewhere over 650 kilos of milk solids last year and I don't think any other breed would, would produce as much on this uh, smaller area. So classification is independent confirmation scoring of all your milking cows. What it does, it gives you a, a good picture of your cow of the functionality of your cow and the positive traits that your cow has and you use that information I suppose then to breed from and if a cow has a, a particularly strong trait that you can, you can carry it through to that to the next generation of breeding. So your aim is I suppose to have as many excellent scored cows as possible. We have up to 20 very good classified there at the minute so we're hoping to build on them try and give them a higher classification and try and breed from our top cows to carry them the functionality right through right through that cow family. It's a young herd, I think our oldest cow is on our, just on our third lactation, so we're happy enough with, to, to have up to 20 VGs. So we'll be hoping to push that out now, we're waiting on a classification, we're actually getting one tomorrow. So we're hoping to expand that now, hopefully it'll be closer to 30 by the time the year's out and ho hopefully we'll have a few excellent scored cows as well. My name's Conal O'Leary and I'm a member of the Irish Holstein Frisian Association.